Nested if statements are where you create one if statement inside another. So if, for example, I'll make a question and I'll equal input uh, capital of England. So if I now make an if statement, so I say if question equals London with a capital print correct. So this is a simple if statement that you should already understand based on the other videos. However, what you need to start getting your head around is this block of code here that's indented can be as long as you possibly want it and it can contain anything else you want. So I'm going to teach you if statements and loops and they can all be contained in each other. So the question is, why would you want to? So if I said, for example, let's put an else on here. So anything else will print wrong. Okay, so this is a simple question that's either going to be right or wrong. I'll teach you one more thing that might be quite useful here. So you can use something called upper and lower. So if I do upper, what that's going to do is that's going to highlight whatever is in the variable question and turn it all into uppercase. So if, for example, I run this now, I do the capital of in England and I'll type it correctly, it's going to say it's wrong. The reason being, it's converted here as part of this question. It's converted it all into uppercase with this method here. And then I'm comparing it to a lowercase version, or at least most of the letters lowercase. The reason you might want to do this, because then it doesn't matter if I type it lowercase or uppercase or a mix, when I get it right, I get it right. So if I run it, and I, even if I went like that, which is horrific to read, it still says it's correct because it converts it all to uppercase and compares it against an all uppercase version. So I'm just showing that because it's felt like the right time. So that's something that you might find quite useful. And there's obviously lower as well. So I'll do lower. And obviously I then need to change this all to lowercase. But anyway, so this video is about nested if statements. So we can ask questions within questions. So if, for example, I stay here and I press enter and then I write another if statement. So I need to say, probably need to ask another question. So I could do uh, question two equals input. What uh, capital of France? So I could say if question two is equal to uh, Paris, and I'll do question two dot lower. If that's equal to Paris, then print correct. And again, I could have an else in here, else print wrong. So you can have multiple else's, but they all link together. So we can make this one slightly different. So we could print wrong, and but I could put, but at least you got the first question right. So this is our code. So if I run this, what is the capital of England? So if I get it wrong, it will say wrong. If I say what is the capital of England now and I do London, regardless of capitalization, it will say correct. And now it's asking for the capital of France. I should have put a question mark there. It's asking for the capital of France. So if I type something that's wrong, it says wrong, but at least you got the first question right because it's fallen into this L statement here. So remember, so this one here, whatever I type in, it's gonna compare it to this argument. If that's deemed to be true, it will do this whole block of code because it's all nested 
if you look at it over on the left, it's all got this tab space consistent. Now this has got an extra tab, but it needs it because this is then tabbed into this if statement. So then you can ask questions within questions and it depends on what you want to achieve. So for example, you'll see a task coming up where I'm asking you to make a quiz where it's a little bit like who wants to be a millionaire. The only difference with that is ideally you might want to keep score. So that sounds really difficult. I'll give you a tip. If you want to keep score, you want to start at the beginning of the quiz with score equals zero. Then whenever you get a question correct, so somewhere around here, you might want a new line, you would want to increment that score. And then you would need to output it at the end to say what your score was. So I don't want to give you all the answers. I'll do a video explaining the uh, task later. But that's essentially nested if statements. And you will also find I'll talk about nested loops and all sorts. You might have if statements within loops and loops within if statements. And you might find you go much further than just two levels in. But it will all make sense depending on what you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to make a quiz in this example, where you only answer question two, if you got the question one right, like who wants to be a millionaire, this is the sort of approach you might want to take. If I put question two there, it's going to ask question two, regardless of whether I got question one right or wrong. So it very much just depends on what you're trying to achieve. So nested if statements or if statements inside if statements.